Hi guys, it's Erin Elizabeth with healthnutnews.com. Watch this video about this nine-year-old uh, just allegedly paralyzed and blinded by the flu shot. But you say it's incredibly rare, but we'll show you another case just like it. Uh, right here locally, nine-year-old also paralyzed by the flu shot. Watch. Only search for answers. One day their daughter was a normal and healthy little girl. The next she was paralyzed and losing her vision. Yes, her parents are convinced that this was a rare reaction to a flu shot. Eyewitness News reporter Jessica Willie is live tonight with this family story, which you will only see on 13. Jessica? Yeah, Gina, the CDC recommends flu shots for most everyone and says they are safe. But the parents of this little girl who's here at Texas Children's Hospital tonight question that. Like any nine-year-old, Brianna Browning is most happy when she's moving. To run, jump, play in the sand, play with her animals, uh, anything a nine-year-old would love to do. She hasn't moved like that, her parents say in almost two weeks. It's horrible. It kills us. The fourth grader from Crystal Beach has been in a hospital bed since October 17th. Her parents say she got a flu vaccine two days before and then her health went downhill. Eight hours later, she was profusely vomiting and again Friday morning and by Saturday she was paralyzed from the waist down, has seemed to went blind, totally blind, and it just seems that she had a seizure. Doctors, they say, don't yet know what happened or why, but they point to one thing. But we know in our hearts this was the flu vaccine that made her ill. There are things that, that there are a lot of myths that are out there. Dr. Umar Shah hasn't treated wow. Brianna. He's the executive director of Harris County Public Health and Environmental Services, says flu shots are extremely safe and encourages everyone over the age of six months to get one. There can be reactions, he says, but they're mostly mild. There are some cases, very rare, that a flu shot has uh, a, a more severe reaction. We want other people to know. Brianna's parents are convinced she has fallen within that small group. It's just her nervous system is totally shut down. They're praying she'll recover. That's her sinking herself into the ground a little bit. So she can be herself again. And doctors have told Brianna's parents she will likely be here at the hospital for at least another month, and they are not sure whether she will regain feeling in her legs. Live tonight in the medical center, Jessica Willie, 13 Eyewitness News. So I, you know, I feel terrible, but it's interesting. They say she'll be herself again, but she might not be able to walk again, which obviously wouldn't be herself again. And oh, why? Look here. A year ago to the day, we have another nine-year-old locally here in Florida who's paralyzed. Look, girl paralyzed after the flu shot on Fox News. Her father, Stephen, and I are, due to all of our research, certain that this is what caused Mary Sue's condition. She was a happy, healthy, running and playing nine-year-old when this happened. There was no underlying condition. I mean, they did so many tests at the hospital to try to find something else that could have caused it and could not find anything. So after she got the shot, she appeared fine to you, right? But then what happened a few days later? Um, Monday night, the first day of Thanksgiving break last year from school, she was in third grade. She had been out running, playing, came in, had dinner, went to bed. Her father and I checked on her at 10 o'clock. When we went to bed, she was fine. She did not get up at 6 or 6.30 like she normally did and come in and say good morning. She... 7.15, I woke up and she went up. I went into her room and couldn't rouse her at first. And when I roused her, finally, the look on her face was like, help me. And she couldn't speak to me. Okay, so unfortunately, from the latest update we'd heard, that girl is not recovered. We hear stories like this every day. And it's interesting that my computer is at 18%. Uh, battery, you ask why? Because CDC reported and had to admit that their failure of a flu shot last year was only 18% effective. It just caught my eye. And many experts say it was only 8 or 9% effective. So if you want to give your child an ineffective shot and paralyze or possibly blind or kill them, as my friend who I grew up with is, uh, had Guillain-Barre syndrome and is par paralyzed essentially because of the flu shot. That's your free will to do so, but you should know the precautions here. The story will below be below as well as the link to the CDC admitting that their own flu shot is a total failure, the shot that is out. Uh, no, but it's their shot, but that's the CDC for you, and these happen all the time. This is not rare. When I saw the nine-year-old, I thought, wasn't there another nine-year-old? Happens all the time. Not rare need to know about this. Parents write me every day. Same story, same scenario. You need to be aware of the flu shot. This is Erin Elizabeth at healthnutnews.com.